Hi everyone, it's Jaja here and welcome to Be Colorful. Today, in my craft room, I will create with you three more of the 10 cards using the Tony Craft Kit number 34, the August Monthly Kit Art Deco themed by Tonic Studios. There will also be a bonus card that will encapsulate all the elegance and geometry of the Art Deco style. For more information about the kit, I leave you the links to the Tonic Studios website below in the description box. So now let's move on to the card number 8. For this card I will propose you a way to use Nouveau Glitter Accent. In fact, I will use this product as a paste. First, I choose a stencil, in this case, uh, that uh, resembles the Art Deco styles, therefore a geometric design, and this is the one that comes closest uh, of the ones I own. Then I'm going to cut out a banner on the blue pearlescent paper of the kit, five and a half height and about uh, the size of the stencil I'm going to use. I'm going to place the stencil and fix it temporarily with some low stick tape adhesive. So now I proceed to spread the glitter accent included in the kit with a spatula. Once the entire surface is covered, the most satisfying moment of this technique comes, the removal of the stencil. Now I'm going to cover the bottom of the banner. I will leave uh, an empty space that will be covered by another element. There also comes uh, the least satisfying uh, moment, cleaning everything up. Something that, uh, although not very funny, must be done immediately, especially because this product is a glue, so it can ruin the stencil if it were too dry. Don't worry, it didn't take me so long to clean up everything. In the glitter accent packaging it is suggested to let the product dry, for 24 hours. In fact, I continue to create uh, the card the next day. So now I'm gonna create the card base out of ivory cardstock in standard size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm gonna cut out two strips of uh, copper pearlescent paper to create side borders for the banner. Then I glue them on the back of the banner. Chop off the excesses. And the banner, which is basically the focal point of the card, is ready. So let's move on to the sentiment, for which you can use the dice from the kit or the stamps. I will opt for the Celebrate die from the kit number 24. I'm gonna die cut it on copper pearlescent paper. And I'm going to glue the sentiment in the empty space I left in the banner. Before gluing everything down, I'm going to round the corners of the base with my crocodile, just to add a little interest on the card. So now I'm gonna glue the banner with some foam tape to give a nice dimension. Thank you. 
Finally, I'm gonna create two drops with uh, the copper crystal drop included in the kit on the side of the sentiment, thus ending this simple but really shiny card. For the ninth card, I will create another banner, this time, however, using the glitter included in the kit, thus showing you another way to use glitter. So I'm going to cut out a 5.5 by 2.5 rectangle on pearlescent copper paper. I will use the stencil I used for the previous card, but this time I will apply some glue, precisely a gel medium. I'm going to position the stencil, temporarily fixing it with low stick tape adhesive, and spread the gel medium with a spatula. I carefully remove the stencil and reposition it to apply glue to the bottom of the banner as well. Now comes the disastrous moment, the application of glitter. On how to best equip yourself for the war against glitter, I refer you to the first video of this series. You can find the link down below in the description box. So, inside the box, I'm going to cover the entire surface with the dark chocolate glitter included in the kit. I'm going to shake the paper a little to remove the excess glitter. And with this tool, I'm gonna remove the glitter by following the lines and restoring some parts of the design. Finally, I let it dry overnight. Don't touch it when the glue is fresh and be patient. And voila, super shiny dry banner. Then I proceed to remove the remaining uh, excess glitter with a stiff uh, Bristol blending brush. Down. Down. Now, now I'll, I'll show, show you, you who, who is, is the boss. The boss. <laughs> well, now I can continue with this card. I will create a pearlescent blue background panel and finishing edges for the banner using this beautiful embossed copper paper. The background panel will be four and a quarter by five and a half, therefore it will completely cover the front of the card base, which will be a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm going to cut out two strips of the embossed uh, copper paper and I'm gonna glue them to the back of the banner, creating two side finishing edges. I chop off the excesses and the banner is ready, so let's move on to the sentiment, for which I will use the die included in the kit. With this die I will create the base of the sentiment on the speciality card I used for the borders. Then with the sentiment die and uh, its matching die, I'm going to die cut on the part of the blue panel that will be covered by the banner, just to save some paper. 
Now I am ready to assemble the card, gluing the sentiment on its base. The banner on the blue panel. And the sentiment on the banner, using this time some foam pad to give a nice dimension. And the card is pretty much finished. I just have to add the finishing touches, creating a few drops with the copper crystal drop of the kit, and glue everything on the card base. For this card I will make another banner, this time create a column of stamps with the thank you stamp included in the kit. First of all I gonna cut out the 5.5x2.5 banner on ivory cardstock. Then, with my stamping platform, I will stamp the sentiment several times, thus creating a column of perfectly aligned thank you. To do this, I'm going to place the stamp at the top of the banner, and I proceed with the first stamp. I am using the Nouveau Diamond Ink Midnight Blue included in the kit. Now, leaving the stamp in the same position, I'm going to move the banner up exactly half inch, and I proceed with the second stamp. I'm going to move the banner half inch upward again and stamp. Continuing like this until covering the entire length of the banner, except for the third last stamp, which I jump, leaving an empty space always half inch. So this time I'm going to move the banner one inch up. Now I'm gonna stamp the missing thank you with clear Versamark ink and I'm going to heat embossing it with a copper embossing powder with glitter. Now on copper pearlescent paper I'm gonna cut out two very thin strips that will be the finishing borders of the banner. Then I continue to decorate the banner even more by adding more borders with this beautiful blue cotton paper from the kit. I draw two lines uh, with my pencil and cut out two strips of paper. Finally I'm going to cut out two more strips of uh, copper satin paper, also included in the kit, which will fill the remaining uh, empty spaces of the card base, which will be a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half standard card. Now I just have to assemble the card. First of all I'm gonna glue the satin copper paper strips to the left and the right side of the card base. After that I'm going to glue the blue cotton paper strips
Finally, I'm going to glue the banner with some foam tape to the center of the card. Chop off the excesses and I'm going to add the finishing touches, creating some mix of drops with the glitter accent and the crystal drop of the kit. And the card is finished! Here we are at the last card, a bonus card that will contain all the essentially of geometric shapes, the elegance and, at the same time, the opulence of the Art Deco style. So first, on copper satin paper, I'm going to cut out a 5 and an off by 4 rectangle. Then, 2 rectangles of 4 by 3 inches. Finally, two rectangles of 3 by 2 inches. Now I turn these rectangles into trapezoid. First, on the larger rectangle, I'm going to mark the center at 2 inches. Then I make two more marks, one inch away from the center, both to the right and to the left. Moving on to the medium rectangles, I'm going to mark the center at one and a half inches. And two more marks, one inch away from the center, both to the right and to the left. I also do the same thing on the second medium size rectangle, center at one and a half inch and a mark at one inch apart to the right and the left of the center. Also on the two smaller rectangles, I mark the center at one inch and two more marks, this time half inch away from the center. I repeat the same things on the second smaller rectangle as well. Now with my guillotine, but uh, any paper trimmer is fine, even just uh, scissors, I'm going to make an oblique cut, starting from the mark at uh, half inch, up to the corner at the bottom of the rectangle. I do the same thing on the other side as well. I align the mark at half inch and the top right corner on the guillotine blade and cut. So I get a trapezoid. I repeat everything also for the other smaller rectangle. Same thing for the medium rectangles too. and for the larger rectangle. And here are the five trapezoids that will form the base of the card. Now, from the blue cotton paper, I'm going to cut out four more rectangles and then turn them into four trapezoids, slightly smaller than the four medium and small size copper trapezoids. The smaller rectangles will be two and three quarter by two inches. 
as before I gonna make two marks half an inch away from the center both to the right and to the left. I do the same thing on both rectangles. Then I'm going to draw an oblique line from the right mark to the opposite corner. Same for the other side. Then I cut out following the oblique lines I have drawn. And this is the final result. Medium blue paper rectangles will measure 3 inches and 3 quarter by 3 inches. I'm gonna mark the center at one and a half inches and the two marks one inch away from it. I draw the oblique lines from one mark to the corner on the opposite side. And I cut following the oblique lines, then repeating the same procedure for the other rectangle. Here, all the shapes ready to go, and this is the summary of all the measurements. Now it's time to glue everything together. I'm going to stick all the blue trapezoids on top of the corresponding uh, copper trapezoid, leaving the finishing borders. As you can see, for each dimension, on one piece I leave the edge on the right side and in the other on the left side. Finally I'm going to cut out the excesses of the blue paper. Now let's move on to assemble the card. To place them straight, I help myself with the marks I drew earlier. I'm going to align the center mark on the top with the edge of the larger trapezoid, while the lower left corner is aligned with the center mark on the bottom of the large trapezoid. For the small trapezoid, I always align the top center with the edge of the trapezoid below. While for the bottom, I align the center of the small trapezoid with the corner of the trapezoid below. And here it is. To finish off the back, I created five more trapezes of the same size as the five copper trapezes. While I'm gonna glue the smaller ones directly on the base, for the medium ones I have to add some thicknesses to be nice and level since there are several layers of paper. In this case, to make thicknesses, I'm using just paper scraps. For the larger piece, I'm gonna use a double layer of foam tape. Up 
after cutting out the excesses, I'm going to prepare my card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half standard card. And I glue it to the back of the art deco shape. Now I will decorate the lower part with a banner, cutting a strip of copper satin paper, on top of which I will glue another strip of blue cotton paper, taking up the design of the trapezoid. I'm going to glue the banner at the very bottom of the card and I can uh, move on to the sentiment using the die of the kit that uh, carves uh, the sentiment and the matching die that cut out uh, the basic shape. Then, on the blue cotton paper, I'm going to create uh, the background of the sentiment. I glue the two elements together. Then, I glue the sentiment on the card with some foam tape. As a final details, I choose to create a mix of blue and copper crystal drops that match perfectly with the color of the card. And I can call this card done. And also for this kit we are finished. I hope these 11 cards with an unusual design have inspired you. This kit gave me new challenges and I had a lot of fun researching how to use the art deco style to make cards and I hope you too. So thank you to joining with me, leave me an art deco thumbs up if you like the video and let me know in the comment which of the 11 cards is your favorite. I'll leave you with the photos and we'll see you next time. Thank you again and be colorful.